Nice! I've been accused of making bad decisions my whole life, and this one may be at the top of the bad decision scale. I'm standing in the middle of a parking lot on a 90 degree day with my snow skis. Hi. Hi. Why? Well, because I'm gonna go skiing in this parking lot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ski behind a pickup. I'm gonna have it pull me around here, and what should happen is the skis are gonna heat up because of friction. And the hotter they get, the more light they're gonna give off, but not the kind of visible light that we see with our eyes. I'm talking about infrared light. I'm talking about heat. Now, we can't see that with our eyes, which is why I've teamed up with this crew from FLIR, because they've got special cameras that can see infrared light. I have no idea what this is gonna look like, but if it works out and I survive, we might be able to see friction in a way we've never, ever seen it before. I hope that ski is completely melted when I get done. Just trash. And I hope there's pieces of hot wax all over this parking lot. Here goes nothing. I don't know which is more hot, me out here in 90 degree heat or the skis. So I've survived, but my skis did not. And this shows all the great power of friction. It shows the energy that's created during the friction force. These things are just glowing hot. They're melting. It's melted all the way through the wax on the bottom and all the way now into the plastic on the bottom of the skis. The edges are blown out. I mean, this is fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted to be able to see, was how friction creates that infrared radiation or that heat. And I think my days as an Olympic parking lot ski racer are completely over. Nice! Well, thanks for watching. To see the latest from FLIR, click on subscribe or come on over to the channel and check out all the amazing things that Infrared is showing us.